Lacey, Lizzie, this is for you from Papa and Nana. Also for our sons, Justin, David, and Ian. This poetic tale has been a very special part of the holiday season for our family. We'd like to also dedicate this to the women that complete our son's lives. Juliana, Sammy, and Katie. And to anyone else who just wants to smile. 2020 has been a challenging year. But it's during those challenging times that magical miracles happen. So we would like to share the night before Christmas our way. It is a tale by Clement C. Moore. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be safe now. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Drancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the wolf, the prancing and pawing of each little hook. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur with his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all! And to all, a good night. Merry Christmas from the Williamsons.